once again welcome to Agitech. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the nested if function within. When we mean something in nested, meaning we have another function within another. So we're going to have an if statement or an if function within another if function. So to do that, what we're going to do right now is we're going to use that to give pass map to this student. So you have the names, their marks, and the results. We're going to use the nested a function to achieve that result. So what we are going to do is that we're going to say that a student scores less than 50. Let's give that student a pass. And a student score more than 50, we'll say pass. Sorry, this one is supposed to be filled. So when a student score less than that, 50, let's see how the student feel. I will come here when the student score above 60. We'll give that student a distinction. Okay. So basically, that is what we're going to use in the next state a function. So this, so this is what I'm going to do. When the student score less than 50, we'll say the student feel. When the student score above 50, we'll say pass. And then above 60 is distinction. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to achieve that using the nested if function. So let's jump straight to action and see how we're going to achieve this. So we'll go to the result column and we we'll say equal to then we we'll say if. So within the brackets, we're going to use the mark column. I'll select the mark column and I'm going to say if the result is greater than 60, then we're going to give the student a distinction. That should be what double quotes extinction. Okay. So close that. And because we are talking about nested if function, this is an if function. I'm going to embed another if function within this. So I'm going to have another if function within my main if function. So it become a nested what if function. So within this, I'm going to use the same column, and I'm going to say. If a student score that's above 50, above 50, then I'm going to see. And look at what I'm going to do. Something I'm going to, I'm just going to bring a comma. If a student score above 50 pass, anything short of that, that's less than 50. Should be filled. So I'll just go ahead like this. Remember, this should be in what? Double quota score. Okay. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to. Turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So this is a simple if nested if function which is going to give pass fill and the distinction to the students. So based on the range you fall, you're going to get your score. So remember we open two brackets and we close it there now, say number of times. So we use what a nested if function, another if function embedded into one. When I hit enter, you will see that automatically in was 40, which is basically below 50. So that's going to be filled. So we have this dot over here, this square box over here. When you double click on it, you're going to get a result for the rest. So you can drag down. I prefer double clicking on this square box, and you will see what is happening. We've been able to automatically assign this distinction, pass, fill, and everything to this. It was just a simple nested if function. So this is basically how to achieve this, and you can easily use it. So in a result evaluation or assignment for maybe at the basically at the junior level where you have to give pass and all that you don't have any complex figures, you can easily use this to achieve that. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial so like come your way another time remember to subscribe hit the like button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell